Hello friends, welcome back to NHS RN. Today we are going to discuss the second part of intramuscular injection, IM injection in OSCE exam. Okay, I hope you have seen my first video of intramuscular injection. If not, please watch the video for a, a deep information. Okay, I have explained each and everything in that video. So just go there and watch it. Okay so i hope you um, understand my first video i'm just to, um, to a recap about it so it's a 12 minutes video you have to do sorry 12 minutes station i am injection and uh, it's it would be happened in a same station and uh, uh, you must complete two time id checkups and might be in community settings most of the time in community settings or hospital settings uh, mostly hydroxycobalamin is the injection im injection medication which is one meals it happens three times uh, three every three months okay and uh, um, you make sure that you have write the slot number and you have to uh, read the case file which i have um, put a case file uh, copy so you can see that in my first video and um, you have to do the as usual the introduction privacy scene scene safety hand hygiene then you have to introduce the patient what you are here why you are here all the things the same and you have to cross check uh, with the medication chart with uh, um, either patient is in the hospital then you have to do the id band otherwise you have to ask the patient about the home address and things like that then privacy that which all i explained very well in first part so that's why i didn't explain too much here the sec uh, the articles you have to uh, keep in im injections are um, initially you have to wash your hand you need to show the examiner that you you know how to wash your ha hand like seven steps of hand washing okay then you have to take a clean tray then syringe two cc syringe a sharp bin you need a, a loading needle with a blend filter needle i have already explained what gauge and what is the color and everything well explained in the first part so please watch that video and administration needle that is a 23 gauge needle which is a, a blue safety needle and you need a gauze to uh, swabs alcohol wipes okay um, then you need a plaster it, it is not it's not mandatory but if you are taking you have to confirm whether the patient is allergy or not so uh, make sure that patient is not allergic okay then you have to loudly speak like verbalize your prescription chart and uh, you have to um, uh, check all the rights um, in the uh, medication chart and uh, your injection injection hydroxycobalamin so when you check take the injection you have to verbalize that is the injection is intact is not perspire um, no sedimentation no precipitate uh, and not expired uh, and uh, you need a um, you need a gloves as well okay but just to speedily talking you i hope you understand uh, if not just go to watch the first video then um, whenever you taking the gloves uh, you need to gel your hand before and after okay so you need a pair a uh, pair of gloves and uh, syringe needle everything you have to verbalize that uh, it is intact and in date whenever you say in date you must check the expiry date then you have to say it is in date you must usually you would say the expiry date loudly but mm, now you can check it and say it's in date okay so now we are going to the preparation stage okay it is the, that was the uh, recap of part one this is the part two of im injection okay so in here you how you going to load the medication you have to take the ampule or a vial if it is a vial clean the tip of vial with a 70 percent of alcohol swab if it is the ampule just take a gauze and keep it in the side of the ampule so when it break you can use the gauze to break the ampule okay when you use the ampule just to wipe the uh, uh, wipe the uh, neck of the ampule with a 
uh, um, alcohol wipes okay then uh, you need to peel both uh, knee, both administration needle and um, loading needle first you have to peel all the needles two needles and uh, your uh, um, uh, syringe okay then you have to keep it in that tray but you never ever touch the uh, key part of the needle and the syringe okay um, you have to do this one in the a n t t procedure all right so uh, take the loading needle and connect the needle with the syringe then you can slowly aspirate medication from the vial or um, ampule so if it is a vial you know how to do uh, withdraw the medication from the ampule just to insert air uh, how much air you, medication you want you have to insert that much air into there so that is the uh, procedure i know you know it if you have any doubt just put it in the comment i will explain it in a very well later okay so you just aspirate it and once you aspirate just push the pistol a little bit further down so uh, the you can save your medication there then you can remove the needle with a scoop method i hope you know the scoop method so you can uh, use the scoop method to remove the needle and you can directly put that needle into the sharp bin okay the loading needle you just uh, um, discard into the sharp bin all right I hope you got it then use the administration needle and connect it to the syringe expel the air now okay you have to expel the air now then you have to make sure that there is no air bubbles okay then you have to show the examiner that there is no air bubble in the syringe and it is um, a one ml of medication in it you have this is one ml medication so uh, one cc of uh, medication in it there is no air bubble so you have to show the examiner and the examiner has to give you a confirmation before you administer the medication into the patient okay you have to show the examiner examiner should confirm it okay then once you prepare everything you keep the uh, loaded medication into the kidney tray and take the trolley tail into the patient so you are in the same um, room so you just need to turn so then you can see your patient then um, what you need to do just to turn to the patient side again you have to do the hand gel uh, make sure that patient is having um, privacy and you have to do the three way check uh, check id check then you have to wear the apron wear the gloves then what you have to do get the consent for the exposure of injection site you can tell the patient that what are the areas patient can have their um, injection you know it's im ingestion what are the areas you can give so just ask the patient where you had the last time then choose the opposite side for example patient had a injection in the leg last time then use the hand for this time or the, if it is patient had in the right hand then use the left hand okay you can alternative choose the alternative sides okay then most of the time uh, examiner will, will say that um, hand okay so you it's all depend upon the dummy's um, injection site okay so if the patient is uh, examiner is confirmed that uh, you can give in my hand then that is the deltoid region okay then you can uh, verb you can ask the patient for the um, injection site checkup then you can verbalize that the skin is no information no in infection no edema no skin lesion that means uh, skin is perfect to have means skin is okay yeah skin is um, neat and clean and things like that so you just verbalize that no inflammation no infection no edema no skin lesion so i'm happy to give my injection in this site then you can verbalize that injection site is deltoid region which is 2.5 centimeter below the acromion process okay you have to use your knowledge here to 
uh, show that you know how are you going to give you have to prepare that okay then once you verbalize and everything you are happy patient is comfortable then already you have explained patient i am going to give in inj injection and everything so you have already explained this and so now you can take the alcohol wipes and clean the area with a 30 second and dry with a 30 second and put a gauze on your left hand sir take your um, syringe on your loaded medication syringe in your right hand if you are a right hand patient um, sorry a right hand candidate use the right hand for um, giving injection okay so that time you can use your left hand holding a gauze okay then you can verbalize the patient that i'm going to give you an injection you may feel a sharp scratch when i in uh, when i give you giving you I am injection okay you just explain uh, in your words then you need to stretch uh, you have to verbalize the same thing as well when you do okay stretch the skin with the left hand then hold the syringe um, like a dart quickly plunge the needle into the angle of 90 degree into the injection site until one centimeter of the needle is left showing okay so you have to stretch your skin with your left hand where the hand you holding here goes okay you have a goes on your hand on your left hand use the hand, same hand to stretch the skin then use the right hand hold the uh, syringe in a 90 degree angle like a dart and insert the in, in needle into the skin you need to one centimeter you can see outside the skin okay that is the whole area point of uh, this sentence okay then once you insert you just aspirate the needle and make sure that there is no blood retained okay so if any blood retain you can't give all right so i know you have all idea about all these things then after aspiration there is no blood you have to verbalize that there is no blood so i'm happy to give the injection over the 10 second that time you have to verbalize so one two three four five six seven eight nine ten like that you have to count okay so you can insert as so inject your injection over the 10 second then after uh, injecting you have to count again 1 to 10 second for better absorption so all together you have to uh, two times you have to count for 1 to 10 okay i hope you got it if you have any doubt just put it in the comment i will happy to give you answer okay after administration uh, you have to wait uh, 10 second then uh, you can withdraw the needle and uh, put the goes over there so apply gentle pressure either you can use a plaster or if if not you plant uh, you can say there is no active bleeding so um, skin is okay so i don't i am happy to uh, leave as it is or i'm not happy to put a plaster on it so just to verbalize what you're planning to do if you have a plaster then you can ask the patient do you have any allergic to plaster if not you can put a plaster in it and discard the needle into the sharp bin and uh, as soon as you take discard the needle into sharp bin then um, you know uh, ask the patient is comfortable then um, you know uh, you know return back the clothes you know you have already um, open this um, little bit clothes for giving injection so just to cover back then uh, remove your apron and gloves which you can put it into the clinical waste as soon as you did make sure that patient is comfortable just go and write your um, notes so sign the drug chart must 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 very important you have to sign date you have to write a, um, a little sentence uh, so that is little different so if you don't know just ask in the comment i will definitely explain to that so you have to sign it you have to um, you have to sign date time and your signature and your you know there is a little sentence you have to write then after that you can once your documentation is over you can um, you know um, ask the patient that uh, oh you have already 
um, did the hand gel and cold bell and everything before you documentation then you can uh, reassure the patient after documentation just to reassure the patient if you have enough time just to reassure the patient then go for your uh, documentation if you don't have much time just to do the documentation which is very important that's why as soon as you finish the procedure documentation is very important that's why i told you to do the documentation if you have enough time left reassure the patient that i will be here for the last uh, next 20 30 second sorry 30 minute so in case if you need anything just to uh, give me a shout or ring the uh, bell or whatever if not you can call 111 uh, if you have any mild symptoms like headache or something like that or if you have if you feel something emergency you can call 999 so you just need to give a little health education there after that you can verbalize to the examiner that i'm going to replace all the article i'm going to clean the tray with the soap and water for the um, and in, uh, ready for the next use you know you just new, need to do the post-op uh, care so i hope you understand everything uh, so in case if you have any doubt put it in the comment and if you need any oski material or oski help or cbt help um, there is a whatsapp you can contact that um, thank you so much for watching or thank you so much for listening as well so if you have any concern let us know thank you so much have a nice time keep on practice your oski um practice make you perfect thank you have a nice time bye